Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Marie Peters and today I thought I would show you a couple of purchases that I've recently made. Um, I've got very interested in the whole junk journal idea and I'm, I'm loving just being creative. So I bought this off of Etsy. It's from a shop called my little maid and it's based here in the uk and this is just a tiny little journal that just been handmade lots of pages um it's about 80 pages in here a little charm and there it's all been sewn in it's beautiful and you're probably thinking why would you buy something that small i'm going on holiday with my family at the end of the month and i really thought it'd be great to have one little book where i can fill it up with receipts and photos. I have a sprocket. I have the HP sprocket and the, the papers are a little bit taller but I can trim the photos down and I thought I could fill it with photos and memories and receipts and just talk about what we've done on our holiday and this will be such a very cute memory keeper I mean on that page I mean that paper's beautiful what I could do is just do some journaling on that page um with 80 pages I'd probably have to do about 10 pages a day but with the size of this by the time I've clipped in different bits and pieces that I've kept and collected to remind me of my holiday that's going to be easy with the photos as well and I just thought that would be perfect so I'm actually going to take that on holiday with me with some bits and bobs that I can stick in and my photo printer and every night when we get home back to our caravan, I can just journal about our day. Now, my other purchase is the other extreme. Okay, can't even fit in. I think I'm gonna have to lift you up a bit so it will fit in. Is that better? Yeah, I think that'll just about do it. This is a thing of beauty. It is another UK-based Etsy shop owner. And her shop is called Designs by Lou W. Lou is spelled L-O-U. And she has a YouTube channel, she has Facebook and Instagram. But I just stumbled across this I mean look at the workmanship that has gone into creating this when you start to see the inside the pockets the tucks the papers so much thought has gone into this it is absolutely beautiful
but you've got pull out tags and then the tags have pockets so you can journal on the back of them and they're double sided. There is so much work that's actually gone into this. not just one pocket you've got a pull out bit as well and the papers are fabulous plenty of room to journal does that make it better you can see better now sorry I didn't have my light on but look at this tuck spots more journaling paper Stamps. The thought that has gone into this. I mean, that's a little envelope with something inside, tagged on. You've got more tags. And even down to the threads from the sewing, most people go, oh my God, the threads there. That, to me, is just an added little extra touch. I mean, the paper clips have all got pieces of ribbon. You've got more envelopes. The inside of the envelopes are done. Got little tags. I mean, every time I go through this, I find something new to look at. That is beautiful paper. I'll probably write on that side, but I won't want to write on that side because that looks absolutely beautiful. Another little tuck spot with a tag. It's one clipped in this side with an envelope on this side. And in this envelope, when you take the ribbon off, look at that. I'm thinking the lady that made this had a lot of fun putting it together. I know I certainly would have done. More tuck spots, pockets. And the thing is, we're all this way in. That's a beautiful one. And we haven't even got to the centre yet. Got a pocket up here with a little envelope. A card in the envelope. And this is a little belly band with another card inside it. I mean, there's plenty of room for you to actually add your own as well, but I think this is so beautifully done that this is just going to be for my journaling. I don't think I want to add anything more to this. Um, I do want to make a journal this size, but it's going to be more of a, 
a real memory keeper. Photos, notes, cards, piece of paper, whatever's in my head, it's going to be, it's more of a, a junk journal. This to me isn't junk. This is, well, this is a thing of beauty. We find it, I mean, look at the centre. Look at the centre. It's, it's got about 100 pages in here, I think. 100 pages of absolute work of art. Three, four, five. I am going to have so much fun working in this. My only w issue with it is it's too beautiful to actually use. But I've got to get over that. This, this is designed to hold memories. I love these long sheets. I love all the stamping. even stamped onto fabric there and glued it on the bottom. This is what I aspire to. And this is what I want to make for myself. Card with, oh, I haven't seen that yet. The tag in there. The card. Coffee dyed papers in it. I told you, every time I look in it, I find something new. Little charm on the end. This is open book. And there we are at the end. I mean, look at it. And can you believe this was only £25? The work that has gone into it. I was stunned. I will be buying more from Designs by Lou W in the future. I, I can promise you that because this... This is lovely. So, as you can see, I've gone from one extreme to the other. But I love what I've bought and I'm going to gush about it. I've showed my husband and made him sit through every single page turn. My children mm, managed to escape me. But I'll get them. I'll, I'll make them do it. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye.